Hey, I'm Vladislav from Base Bunker, and this is the first tutorial for, for PHP Code Igniter. In these tutorials, I will talk about Code Igniter and not only talk, but I will show you some tricks, some beginning, and some more advanced techniques. And uh, that will be tutorials for Code Igniter. So, let's start the series with the downloading the code, the code igniter and basically see what it is. You can download code igniter framework from the codeigniter.com then in the main page you can see here a download button usually this is the latest version of the code igniter framework uh, but you can go to the downloads here in the menu then in this button, this button is uh, usually to the latest version, but here's the other versions of Code Igniter, but um, better is newest. Yeah, so uh, download this. I already downloaded it, and basically we will appear some folder like this in your root. Yes, uh, so extract it in your root folder. And when you extract the code igniter framework, it will appear some folder like this, but uh, maybe it will be like with the version, with what version it is. Um, so, doesn't matter, uh, you can rename it like me. I rename my code igniter folder. And uh, let's go and see how to how to get with our local host to our folder. So we type just localhost then the name of the folder folder code igniter. And this is the main page, but the main page is uh, like two parts. The main page is with the controller and the view. The view is uh, basically that you see everything that you see but in this page so um, but we're connected or the view is represented by the controller so you can see them in your folder application then this is the view this is the controller and uh, this is the models but in our case the default page it's only made but uh, by view and controller. Basically, what is the controller? The controller connects uh, the view and the model. So everything is connected with the controller. What is the view? The view, how I said, uh, this is mostly what we see, but we can do some things like PHP give us that opportunity that we can do echo something or print something in the controller or in the model but the view is most mm, the view the view is better to use so um, what's the model the models is uh, connection from database to your site or what you're making so that's about it. Model is database connection. That's how we need to know. And how I said, everything is um, combined with the controller. Okay. And let's see some code that's on the main page, on the default page basically um, I will work with the notepad plus plus it's free editor so yeah uh, here's our default controller so what it what it does we are loading our welcome message what actually is that welcome message that welcome message is our view and we say here we want to load this load, so we said we want to load 
we say here what to load or what type to load if we set view like uh, the default it will look everything in our view folder so uh, when we are loading the view it will look from the uh, for file named welcome message so in the views we have file named welcome message okay uh, here's our default page that we see uh, you can edit it like welcome base bunker users okay uh, when like uh, here it is welcome base bunker users so it's nice hmm. okay uh, that was for the first tutorial but next tutorials will be like typing the code introducing to the controller and doing some more coding stuff <laughs> uh, thanks for watching